Logo in the building. Logo Loke from the 773. <laughs> yeah, you always be showing me that love. Uh, here we go, man. All right. Let me talk to y'all for a second, all right? <laughs> so many people on internet, are, you guys are like the funniest, I swear. Like, people that just comment stuff on the internet just entertain me so much nowadays. It's just hilarious, bro. Um, first off, let me talk about the push off. All right, let me talk about. I I clearly pushed off on the dude, obviously, right? Um, but it's so funny because when things like that happen to me, y'all tell me go get your weight up, go get your weight up, uh, stop flopping, stop flopping. But when I do something like that, y'all y'all just switch back and say, oh, that's a uh, that's a stiff arm, like. That's that's not a basketball move, like yada yada yada, bro. You guys are so funny, bro. When when it happens to me, I flop. But when I do it, it, it it's it's an offensive foul. Like, bro, pick a side. Anyways, um, uh, let me explain what happened. All right, so that dude, he's Ruben's brother. Uh, they came from Germany. I'm cool with Ruben. I'm cool with the dude too. Like, there's no bad. Like, there's nothing bad that happened after. But um. Uh, what you, what you call it? Wait, you didn't give a lot of shorts. Get, yeah. bro. I didn't give a lot of shorts out. You should be happy. I'm even giving any out, bro. Like, who who just goes out to the park and do takes over and give away free shorts? Come on now, Let, let's be real. Like the fact that I'm even giving out free shorts is like, it, like you should be grateful. And I give it to the people that's been coming out to the runs, man. Like I, I've been giving out, I've been giving out shorts to the people that've been popping out to almost every single run, bro. For real. Um, anyway, so let me talk to you about this dude, right? So I don't know his name, uh, but he's Ruben's brother. You guys know Ruben. I played him on uh, my channel before, the Germany dude. Um, so uh, the whole time, if you go watch the video, he was playing overly aggressive on defense on me, which is cool. Whatever, right? I got to get my weight up. I got to get stronger. It's street ball. I've been accepting it the more park takeovers I've been doing it. Um, and then... Uh, Right before that play, if you go watch the video, he did a, like a hook, right? Like a hook. You guys know, like, that's like the new NBA move nowadays. Um, it's like the hand swipe. But he, like, hooked my back, and he held on to it. He, like, hooked it, and he held on to my back. And I was like, oh, bro, you already been hacking me all game. Uh, I'm not going to let this hook slide. You know what I'm saying? So I came down. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to use my strength, whatever. I've been working out. Like y'all been saying, I got SpongeBob muscles, whatever it is yesterday. Um, uh, so I used my weight. I, I stiff armed him, obviously, you know what I'm saying? But to be real, it didn't look that bad on camera. Um, I clearly stiffed armed him, bro. You know what I'm saying? But when that happens to me, a lot of people say, oh, weight room, weight room, uh, get your weight up, yada, yada, yada. But when I do it, it's it's illegal and shit, bro. Like, y'all so funny. But nonetheless, I really don't give a shit. Um, some of the comments, bro, it just, it's so entertaining. It's like, it honestly makes me laugh inside because I honestly got over negative comments Unless I did something terribly wrong, then, you know, like, like when I quit in the House of Highlights tournament, all those negative comments. Yes, that was actually uh, something I took to heart. And I was like, OK, like I actually made a mistake. But when I, when I actually make mistakes, I do take it to heart and I do my best to fix it. But when it comes to stuff like that, bro, I'm just like, yeah, y'all just y'all just messing around because one day you on my side. The next day you against me. You just want to see me lose like people like that, bro. People that always want to see me lose are usually the ones that I got broke hoop dreams, one, or they broke in general, two, or like they really not doing anything with their lives, bro. Like if you actually got genuine hate for somebody, you, especially somebody you don't know, bro, like a lot of you guys know me online and everything, but you don't personally know me. And if you throw so much shade at me, bro, I, you probably really not do anything with your life, bro. Like, or you just got so much hate to where it's like you got some other problems, but you just want to unleash it on me, which is cool. I'm going to take it. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all say I'm bad at basketball. I never claimed I was a great basketball player, bro. I never, I never said, oh, yeah, I'm an elite basketball player. Bro, I play basketball for fun. And 
thankfully, I'm able to make money off of it, bro. Like, it, it's a true blessing. Like, I got to a point where the negative comments, like, the ones are all oh, your trash or like, oh, uh, play me for real for $1,000. Bro, those comments, I don't even like think twice about them no more. Um, I just found it funny on my last post. Obviously, it was a clear push off. You can see the sarcasm when I post. I said, uh, "Wait room or <laughs> wait room or uh, what I put wait 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 room or offensive foul." And at the end of the day, bro, eighty five percent of y'all get it. The other fifteen percent, bro, y'all just so like I don't get why you can't take a joke, bro. Like it's so funny to me. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, y'all boosting the algorithm. So it don't really affect me. That's why I don't even bother replying to negative comments. If I do, it's because I'm really bored. But um, anytime I look at a negative comment, bro, I'm just like, you're only helping the algorithm, bro. Like, it, 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 wh why would I delete it? Why, do I, why would I not want the negative comments? It helps the algorithm. It boosts the posts. It boosts my videos. Like... Just know when y'all hating, bro, y'all actually helping. That's the funny thing. Like, the people that hate are actually helping the videos as well, bro. But yeah, man, that's what it is. Nah, Kenny, if they say you're trash, then they're, they're trash. That's not, I, I don't really care, bro. Like, I, I really play for fun. Like I said, I usually don't get upset at the parks, personally. Um, just cause I know, you know, obviously I got somewhat of a name and when I go out there, everyone's trying to get a clip on me. That's why I try my hardest to play defense on anybody, bro. Like I'll try to like, cause I do it for the fans. I know it gets you guys hype. Uh, when you score on me, you cross on me, whatever. I, I'm enjoying my time playing with everybody out there, bro. Um, and I usually never get aggravated. Even if I get hacked or I get fouled or I get grabbed, whatever, I just keep it pushing. I don't think I've called one foul. At any of my takeovers, like to be honest with you, I don't think I've caught a foul in like any of my recent basketball videos. To be honest, like, like I really haven't caught a foul in like I dead ass I don't remember the last time I caught a foul for real though. Peter got game. You are one of those people. Just put down my phone. Bro, in this life, bro, people genuinely don't want to see you win. I'm telling you right now. There's only a few people in this world that would genuinely want to see yourself win. And that's the people within your close circle or your family members. Shit, sometimes family members don't even want to see you win, bro. Like close families, siblings, maybe first cousins. But a lot of the time, a lot of the times people... People get very jealous and they get envious, bro. And, like, it just grows this weird, like, negative hate. Even when they don't know you. They don't want to see you win. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, like I said, it don't really matter. Because uh, y'all still helping pay the bills. Even the, the haters. You know, but, hey. But big shout out to all my real supporters, bro. Like, y'all been rocking with me. Um, the videos have been doing really well. Um, you know what I'm saying? My, my mental has been in such a better place. Uh, you know, my team has been getting bigger. Um, you know what I'm saying? We've been able to execute a lot more efficiently. And yeah, man, we're pushing, bro. We're almost at 300, I think 304,000, bro. The goal is to get to 310,000 uh, by the end of this month. And yeah, man, we're just going to keep dropping bangers, bro, for real. Going to be in Vegas tomorrow till Sunday. Going to be filming a bunch of content over there. And, um, yeah, man, we're going to keep it pushing, bro. We're going to keep it pushing, for real. Should play some games for slabs on the line. I, I used to do that. Me and Sasha actually did that. And that video actually did pretty pretty well. Bro, the thing is... The thing is, is that, like, oh, am I frozen? No, I'm not. I thought I was frozen.
Ivan, I'm gonna message you. Are you really actually gonna be in uh Vegas? Bro, you guys, all right. So I actually made a pretty decent purchase recently. I never really flex, and I actually don't want to, but it actually made me, like, kind of appreciate my work. Like, okay, like, I actually bought it. Okay, so I bought I bought a necklace, like a, you guys know I got this, and I got my other chain and stuff like that, but I actually bought a pretty decent amount of money size purchase. If y'all want to see it right now, bro, you know what I'm saying? Spam the W's. If I see a bunch of W's, I'll show you guys. But like I said, I usually don't like just, I, I just don't like flexing like that, bro. It's just, it's just weird to me. Like I don't like posting like, like a bunch of like flexing pictures with cars and jewelry. Like I like just wearing it, but it's just cause I know like I, I, I never had it stuff like that before. Um, so I don't want to make it seem like it's like, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely want to promote like work hard, uh, continue to strive for your goals and everything. And then when you get to a point where you're like, okay, like I could treat myself a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I could get this, I could get that. Um, nothing really like, oh, like, look at this. I got this. I got that. You know what I'm saying? Cause because a lot of people, bro, you really got to work hard to get to where you want to be in life, bro. For real. Like, if you think things going to get handed to you, it really isn't like that. Like, you actually got to put your head down. You got to write down your goals. You got to say, like, I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to accomplish that. And sometimes, bro, it really takes years, bro. Like, it takes years. Like, it's not fast. Sometimes people do have fast come-ups, though. You know? Like, I know a couple people that have fast come-ups. Um, and sometimes it's hard to sustain that because you never really went through that struggle, that struggle point. In, that struggle point. I feel like that struggle point when you're trying to get to somewhere actually helps you so much more than if you just like was always successful, bro. For real. All right, bro. I saw y'all the chain, bro. Like I said, I don't really like do it, but it's one of my like first big purchases. Um... Shout out to my jeweler, bro. Like I said, I'd never do this, y'all, but I'm going to do it for y'all because, you know what I'm saying? Y'all help me get this, bro. Y'all all help me get this, all right? Each and every one of y'all in here help me get this. I did not get this on my own. I got this through hard work, you know? Y'all see it? Hold on, I think it's a bad angle. Oh, flipped. Did this one? Oh, there it goes. Bro. I usually don't do this, but, you know, come on, man. Like, it's my, I never buy, I don't buy jewelry and just post it online like that, but... Bro, I, I, I've been wanting to get this. Like I said, I've been trying to, like, my hardest to just not buy it, like, off rip. You know what I'm saying? I've been uh, just, buy, you know, like, I just moved into my crib, uh, remodeled the home. Like, I took care of a bunch of, like, the bigger things. Um, but, yeah, bro, like, this is, I mean, just, like, really one of my first big purchases, bro, for real. So, big shout out to y'all, man. Like, if you want to, if you really... Like, if this is one of your goals, bro, to, like, to get chains, cars, whatever it is, man, like, for real, dead ass, work your ass off, bro, but save it, invest it, and then, when you got cushion, bro, you buy it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and when you're comfortable with everything you got going on, bro, if you feel like you can spend it, you get it, bro, for real, though, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, like I said... You guys, you guys see me on, um, you guys see me online. I don't really post a lot of like, oh, I got this, I got that, and shit like that. Uh, just because I, like I said, I don't really want to make it seem like. I just don't want to flex to y'all type shit. 
you know, like maybe here and there I'll post a picture, but um, yeah, bro, it is what it is. I appreciate y'all. I gotta take it off, man. Stink. It's one of my favorite favorite pieces so far, for real though. One of my favorite pieces thus far, bro. It's my favorite. It's my baby now. But shit, man, I got to do some laundry, bro. Uh, Gonna head up to Vegas. If y'all in Vegas, hit me up. Gonna be with uh, a couple of the homies. And uh, yeah, going to the Summer League game. Super excited for it. But appreciate all the love and support, man. Cool. Okay, then. You want to smoke, nigga, say when. He want to play till he get shot in the face and we make him a day then. I'm the nigga this nigga betraying. They yelling A till I break out the K in. All of you niggas better get out my way for my young niggas. Come get the spray in. Cool. Okay, then.